Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Informatica MDM tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn SSA Name 3 tool. SSA Name 3 is used for matching the record. It is a separate tool which is get integrated with the Informatica MDM hub. So, if you are using Informatica MDM 9.7, MDM 10.1, or any other higher version like 10.2, 10.3 or even the 10.4 which is the latest version, the SSA name 3 tool remains the same which is the underlying matching logic handling tool. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to set up this SSA name 3 tool in 6 simple steps. Then we are going to run this tool and going to have a sample example test. So let's start today's tutorial. What are the six steps? The very first steps in this is downloading the set of files, then setting up the JDK, then setting up environment variables, then setting up environment and bin folder files, and also setting up the ENVC and ENVS files. There are some other files also associated, such as nm3c and nm3s. So let's start with the very first step that is downloading setup. You can reach out to the Informatica to get the SSA name 3 setup. It is a zip file and once you unzip that file it will create few folder such as environment folder, bin folder etc which we are going to see shortly. Then setting up the JDK. You can get the JDK from the Oracle website. The preferred version is 1.7.045, but you can have the higher version as well if you do not have this earlier version. The next thing is setting up the environment variables. There are three basic variables we need to set up in environment variable if you are using the Windows system, and those are SSATOP, JRE Home, and SSA Name3 Port. The next folder that is the env and bin folder and where we have to update all the files all the executive files i would say and we need to update those files for the variable dollar dollar instead of dollar variable dollar we have to use percentage variable percentage so this is applicable for all the variables in all the files the fifth step is updating envc and envs files these are the files which are used by the tools. Hence, we need to set up ENVC for SSA Java path variable and SSA browser. And ENVS file, we have to just set up the uh, SSA PR, that is proper, uh, population file. Again, in NM3C and NM3S, there is only one property file we have to update, and that is SSA N3 port. Once we are done with all these basic setup steps, the next things are very simple and those are nothing but the starting the SSA name 3 server and running the workbench. The commands are very simple. For starting the server, we have to use n3 app and for starting the workbench, we have to use workbench command. We cannot start a workbench before starting the server. So we have to make sure the server is up and running and then start the workbench. Once we start the workbench, we have to use any example for the testing purpose. So let's start looking into this tool. The very first thing is, once you got the zip file from Informatica for SSNM3 tool, you have to unzip it. Once you unzip the folder, you'll see all these directories such as bin, env, log, nm3v2 and pr. There is a readme file also available with this setup. That is the very first step. The next step is setting up the JDK. Of course, you know the how to set up the JDK using the Oracle website. You can go to the Oracle website and you need to provide username password. If you do not have sign up for it, uh, it is a free. And then you can download the JDK version which we are uh, looking for and install it. Once you are done with that, the next step is nothing but setting up the environment variable. 
If you are using Windows system, then go to the start menu and type env and it will take us to this edit the system environment variable pop-up. Select that and click on the environment variables. And in this environment properties file, we have to make sure we have set up the SSA N3 port as a 1665, SSA TOP as a your installation directory for SSN M3 and also make sure you have the JRE Home. Currently I am using JRE Home as a 1.80241. Now we have done with the setting up three basic steps that is downloading setup, setting up JDK and setting up the environment variable. Let's explore the remaining properties which are present under the installation directory. And that is nothing but the env and bin folder. In this folder, we have to make sure um, we have captured all the files. You can sort by the type and go to the files which start with the batch files. So we have to go to the each and every file, right click on that. You can use any editor and wherever you see the dollar sign, replace the dollar sign with the percentage sign. We have to follow these steps for all the executed file executable files that is batch file in our case so there are several files present in each of the files we have to update so that is the bin folder similarly we have to do the env folder wherever you see the dollar sign we have to replace with percentage sign i have already updated this uh, before doing this demo so you see the percentage sign are already populated here Okay, so the next thing is nothing but the setting up ENVC and ENVS files. ENVC and ENVS, these two files present under the ENV folder. Let's open the very first file that is ENVC. In this file, we have to set up SSA Java path and SSA browser. Make sure SSA Java is pointed to our current Java W, which is under the JRE home which we have set up as a part of the environment variable then the path variable and ssa browser you can use any other browser if you are using but i would recommend using the ie explorer in envs file we have to set up the ssa pr so just open this file and make sure ssa pr is set up once we are done with this we'll go with the next step and next and final step is nothing but the setting of the entry port in nm3c and nm3s those files also present under the env folder nm3c and nm3s open the each of these files and set up the ssa entry port again this ssa entry port we already set up in the environment variable we have to make sure this is correctly populated in the, both of these files Okay, we are done with the setting of the tool. Let's go ahead and run the this setup. In order to execute this, we have to first start the server. So let's go ahead and start the server using command prompt. Type the cmd and go to the folder where your direct uh, bin folder is there. And then type n3 up. This will start the nm3 server that is name3 server and you will see another prompt get got created nothing will be printed here but one thing we can notice here the, it is started on localhost 1665 and that is the port we have configured now we will go ahead and start our workbench you have to type the workbench and this will open a name3 match tool configuration so in this tool, we can see several sections such as introduction to SSN M3, some documentation, system information, enter and exit this tool. So let's click on the enter workbench. We have to use the DDL. If you are using the remote server, for example, your SSN M3 server is in remote location, you can use the socket connection and provide the details here of that server. But as my server is reset in the same system, I will use the DLL and click OK. 
you can use the population file also whatever you want to use I'll just use the demo population and click OK and this is the SSA name 3 tool in this tool at the left hand side we have the several sections such as match if you are going to test some matches then the close if you want to test the ranges how how the ranges are populated if you want to determine how the keys are generated for given uh, given phrase or given name then you can use this key section however in today's tutorial we are just exploring the match section so go ahead and click on the match depending on the what kind of population you have the the purpose will vary so we just choose the demo population hence the purpose includes white contact contact individual etc let's go ahead and select the organization so as soon as you click on the right hand side the control is get populated with purpose equal to organization i would recommend not to type any words here because this syntax are uh, internally used by match engine so make sure you are not manually editing if you edit just make sure it's correctly edited next thing is what match level you are going to use you can use typical conservative or loose let's see let's start with the typical as soon as you click the match level equal to typical get populated here at the bottom we have to select the two types of data search data and file data so search data is something like input data and the file data is suppose you already know some data which is present in the system and you want to check whether the records are matching or not then you can use that file data how can i enter so in order to enter the search data click there and from the fill type select the what kind of data you have we have suppose organization data then select the organization name and provide the actual data i will use here like apple inc and then after that we have to make sure we are ending the data set so use the end of data so that is nothing but the three asterisk signs in the fill data we have to provide what is the uh, type of data we are using that is again organization name and then we can use the actual data so suppose my data contains apl inc so if you see notice here there is a typo error in the apple word so we'll see whether these two records get matched or not with the typical configuration of course we have to end this data set as well so you use the end of data once you have this all this configuration you can click on the call so here is a call button at the bottom just click on that and it will give us the match score and it says it's a 87 percent the decision is undefined or it's match is not sure the match engine is not sure whether these two records are matching or not so what option we have how can you tweak this in order to tweak this we can use the accept limit as one of the option suppose let's add the accept limit plus so you can see the automatic get updated here and then call it again still it is not accepting let's increase by 30 and then call and now it's saying it's a rejected if you add the accept limit uh, by 30 it is no more going to accept this so the rest next thing we can try is instead of accept limit let's use the conservative matching when i select conservative the match level get automatically updated here and click call this time also it is not matching so let's go with the lose and see how it goes if i call lose then it is matching so that means these two records are matching based on the match level lose by that way you can conclude the match engine is used to understand how the matches are happening so sometimes people will come back or the business user will come back to you and will ask why these records are not matching so we have to give the explanation that based on these tools the underlying implementation these records are matching only when we choose the loose configuration or you can adjust your access limits to match this record as well you can use a different population file based on your population configuration in your real-time project
there is one more option also available and that is nothing but the match comparison we know that this decision is acceptable but with which what rule and what scores if you want to see by the comparison click on the match level comparison and it will give us the more information if you use the conservative it is not matching because the match score is 80 with the typical it is not going to match even if score is 87 but if you use the lose it is going to match so this just gives the more idea about which match level you should prefer to use in your match engine configuration so this is about the match tool i hope you learned something new in this today's tutorial if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video or you can reach out to my website and provide your feedback about this video and if you are looking for some other information about informatic mdm please feel free to reach out to my email address thank you again have a nice time